Hi, thank you for joining me on the Albion Yard YouTube channel. If you enjoy the presentation, please share, subscribe and like. In this one, we're going to take a very quick look and unboxing of the Rapido Trains UK double gauge Hunslet 16 inch 060 saddle tank industrial locomotive. And once we've unboxed it, we're going to take it up and put it on the new test track here, which is Pico Code 75 Bullhead and see how it works. So I'll just reposition the camera and we're good to go. Here we are then, unboxing, and we'll try this in uh, one take. This is the typical packaging that uh, Rapido trains come in, a cellophane wrapping over the boxed locomotive. Uh, if you're familiar with the Canadian products, um, you'll have seen the same thing. I'll try not to put too many arms in. So it's a nice sturdy box. The fit is good. Instructions, owner's manual. Foam packaging and a clamshell with the actual locomotive in. Shaking it, doesn't seem to be anything loose. The only thing that's rattling is the coupling hook that I can see there. So that bodes well. We have a set of extra steps as a detailing pack. Typical clamshell construction for the packaging. Nice tight fit, not too tight. And the locomotive with a single cellophane wrapping. So there you go, that's it unboxed, quite literally. Initial impressions, it's good. Nothing has fallen off in the box, so again, that's good. There's a little bit of hair there. So let's take a closer look then. Quality of the finish is the first thing that I notice and that is very nice. Looking underneath, we have three humps here, so almost certainly a fully geared chassis. I've not looked at the instructions, so I'm just taking that as red. Sprung buffers, yeah, those are working, and they're nice and soft action, actually. So for me, who actually uses them, they will be They'll be good. The wheels look like they've changed from the original EPs. They've got a thicker tyre to them, which again is looking really nice. Looking into the cab, I'm trying to get the uh, the lighting in there. The cab looks very well detailed. Hard, really much. What? hard really to say a great deal more about it it looks a nice model just taking it out of the box um, without looking at any data or anything construction is good there is no paint blemishes that are immediately apparent and no sticky bits of glue uh, apparent either so I'm pleased with that and we'll get it up on the track now straight away and see what happens as it runs so i'll just turn the light off on the overhead here now this is the dc model and we are going to be running it with a Backman controller, one of the very simple train set controllers, so this one here. Not the most fine of control. clunking there was me. I didn't change the double slip there. Am I 
Terrell. Again, bear in mind this has literally just come straight out of the box, so it hasn't been run apart from maybe a test run at the factory, which would be a couple of seconds or not a great deal more, I would think. So as far as taking it out of the box goes and giving it that very simple run and giving it the once over in terms of any bits fallen off, any glue marks or any paint blemishes, um, it's ticked all the boxes so far. So I'll take a closer look at it. Uh, one of the things I'm going to do is to run it in now. So I'll put it on some backrest rollers and give it 30 minutes or so. And with this new test track here, what I can do is I can just prop one end of it up and see how well this locomotive runs on a gradient, really simply. Um, it's got a fully geared chassis and experience with the DJM J94 on a gradient wasn't good, it hunted, so it, it sort of moved in a sort of jerky sequence like that. Um, I'm wondering whether this locomotive will do that uh, as it's a rapido, I suspect it probably won't because I imagine they've probably put the engineering uh, thought behind it and looked at those sort of elements already. So I'm quite intrigued as to how that's going to go, but first I need to run it in properly, so uh, 30 minutes on the rollers one way and then the other, and we'll be back and we'll try it again, see whether there's any improvement. It's not bad at the moment, don't get me wrong, and um, put it on a gradient. 